Hey, welcome to Cheaper Jeeper TV, the show that helps you get the most for your money so that you get the most for your Jeep. I'm Dino, your host. Glad to see you here. In this week's episode, we're going to look at some economical alternatives to using a winch to get yourself unstuck when you're on the trail. Things like a high lift jack and traction mats. And then in our tip segment, we're going to look at how inexpensive those items are. Stick around. You know, with the good weather coming and we're starting to dream of getting out on the trail, it's always good to make sure that you test out your equipment. I know, for example, one of the tips and tricks of using a winch is that you should regularly unspool it to keep it lubricated. And it's also recommended that you practice using the winch before you're out on the trail. You don't want to be knee deep in mud before you realize there were things you needed to know first. Well, in that light, a subscriber reached out to me. His name is Dieter. And he invited us to join him while he practices using his high lift jack and traction mats as an economical alternative to using a winch. It seems like a good idea and so we're going to go out and join him and then in our tips segment we're going to talk about how you can get that kind of equipment for a little money. Let's have a look. Well the first lesson I learned off of Dieter and unintended at that is that when we met at our location, he led by example and practiced environmental stewardship. So the lesson learned here, always carry a garbage container or garbage bag to pick up any trash you see along the trail. You know, in fact, I even received emails on my website from viewers who are disappointed at the impression that Jeepers are giving to others in the community that we don't care about the environment and that we're trashing up the trails. So something as small as this can go a long way. I'd actually like to see this on the list of items that people take when they go off-road. Whether it be ice, snow, sand or dirt, there's going to be times where you're going to be stuck. And our first tool in our arsenal is putting our Jeep into four-wheel drive. But sometimes it still isn't enough and you're going to have to use some other tool. Let's see how the traction mats work in this example. Wow, that seemed to work like a charm. So with the use of these budget mats that you could purchase at your local retailer or even on Amazon, to which I'll have some links to some examples in the description, this was an economic alternative to using a winch and it should be suitable for those who would require traction mats only once in a while. But now, how does a high lift jack get you out of a similar scenario? You'd start by connecting the high lift jack to your Jeep and then securing it to either another vehicle that you're on the trail with or a tree. And when securing knots in your toe straps or ropes, make sure that you know how to tie it so that you don't tie a knot that you can't untie. This is a special climber's knot that Dieter is showing us. So once you've determined what type of knot you're going to use, your rig should look something like this, where you'll have the chain and some type of dampener or apron to catch the chain should it break. And then there's the high lift jack connected by another chain to your tow hook on your Jeep. And here you have Dieter demonstrating how the high lift jack is pulling the Jeep out of being stuck. It certainly seems to be working out quite well at this point. But I would be remiss without saying that the use of a high lift jack is something that you really should practice the way Dieter is doing right now because it is a very dangerous tool to use, especially if you don't use it properly. Hello. 
Eventually you get to the point where you've cranked the Jeep close to the high lift jack and you'll either have to invert the jack so that you don't hit it and continue jacking in the Jeep or you'll have to adjust the chain. When you've jacked the Jeep in as much as you can and you still need to be cranking it in, it's time to loosen the high lift jack and reconfigure the assembly. The tow chain can be brought in at different locations, but that's why you practice this sort of thing to find which way is most comfortable for you. Well, I guess Dieter has shown that you could use a high lift jack in lieu of a winch as an economical alternative to getting your Jeep unstuck. Let's hear a little bit more from Dieter. Uh, hi, I'm Dieter with stdi.com. Uh, I had a decision to make to buy either a winch or a jack. And the cost obviously is quite clear. The high lift jack is 150 bucks. It comes with all the recovery gear almost included, uh, with the exception of a chain. And it can get you out of almost any situation. It is a very uh, time consuming and labor intensive uh, work as you can see but it will actually work now when we travel we have all stock equipment on the chip uh, like stock tires stock uh, springs and so on so we're not really built for mud or rock climbing uh, we're putting a trailer so it's really a stock chip and our motto always was do not go into mud but sometimes you just get there. So, and that's why we have the jack. If we get into trouble, we call jack and the jack gets us out. Um, anyway, the test we did here was the first time uh, we actually tried that. So it is by no means the way you're doing it. Actually, I noticed that there are a few mistakes we made, but in general, it does work. Please read up on the exact instructions how to do that, because do not trust what you saw here, except yes, it does work, and yes, it is a lot of work. I hope this helps. Enjoy the day. Hey there, I want to give a shout out to Dieter's website, stdi.com, where he shares a lot of his experience from his travels, and I think you might get a lot out of it. I know I have, and the website is stdi.com. I invite you to go check it out. I'll also have a link in the description. But it was really helpful for him to show us there are some more economical options to a winch when you're looking at ways to get yourself out from being stuck on the trail. A winch is one option, but as we know, the pros and cons are that the winch can be a little bit more pricey and it requires being permanently mounted on your Jeep, adding weight, including the bumper. Whereas if you keep your Jeep stock, you could utilize the traction mats or a high lift jack and you could have them in your Jeep when you're doing a trail run and that sort of thing. So they don't have to be in your Jeep all the time. So you're not adding weight and it's less money. And now let's go on to our tip segment where I'll talk to you a little bit about the cost of these items. Now for some cheaper Jeeper tips. If after watching this video, Traction Mats is on your shopping list, you can always check out online reviews like you see here on the screen. The link to this review will be in the description. And you can see the editor has his editor's pick and I have included the link the editor's pick in the description section as well. But the editor has also given a budget option and I'll 
Include the link to that one in the description section also. A simple search like this can show you your options and you could decide what you want to get based on the amount of use you're going to get out of it and your budget. And of course you could also check out your local retail store for these types of items like Princess Auto, Canadian Tire and the such. And the same can be said for high lift jacks. I have the link to this review in the description section where there's an editor's pick and a link to his selection and also an economic option for a jack as well. So there you go and like I said earlier it all depends on your budget and how much you're going to use that equipment. You can decide on your own. You could maybe go look at some other YouTube videos or if you'd like to see some more practice with that equipment let me know and at least make sure you have something to help you out when you're on the trail. Now let's hear from our subscribers. And now for subscribers tips. This week's subscriber tip comes from a comment made in our windshield replacement video. Hey Cheaper Jeeper TV, I've got some tips that I've researched. Number one, Gorilla Glass. Number two, clear plex film over the windshield if Gorilla Glass is too much. About $700 so I've heard. And three, a hood bug deflector. It deflects rocks too. Signed, K. Hey K, thank you so much for your subscriber tips. And if any of you out there have subscriber tips that you'd like to share with the Cheaper Jeeper TV community, please feel free to share them in the comments section below as they may make it in an upcoming episode. Thank you very much. Hey, well that's it for this week's episode of Cheaper Jeeper TV. I hope you found it interesting. And if you did, how about giving the video a thumbs up? And if you haven't subscribed already, I invite you to do so right down below here so you don't miss our next upcoming episode. Until the next time, I'm Dino for Cheaper Jeeper TV. Be well, stay safe, take care.